Okay, so this is a Gemini reading, and I feel two Geminis in my energy right now. One masculine and one feminine. So I'm going to do two separate hands for y'all. No pun intended. But yeah, so let me get some cards. I feel like temperance is the overall energy in this energy with both Geminis. So let me get a few cards for the masculine Gemini. I'll do the masculine on the left. Let me do a few cards for the masculine Gemini. Show me what the masculine Gemini four of wands is still there, so I'm gonna use that. Show me a few cards for the masculine Gemini. Okay. Show me another card for the feminine Gemini. Okay. Awesome. In the middle, we have two of wands, so maybe you're currently fighting something right now. Um, you're fighting an energy or battling with, you know, battling yourself. But let me look up two of wands. Stop being lazy. Yeah, so this could be the overall energy for both. But it came when I was on feminine. Uh, you're blocking your own energy and holding back the potential that you possess. So that could be for both Gemini's. Um, sometimes we do things to block ourselves, and we're trying to block other people. We end up blocking ourselves off from connections. Um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So basically, you're just not being the caring, loving person that you usually are. She is wild like the wind and cares for nothing but herself. Everything is about her, for her, and to be done by her. So yeah, maybe that's just the energy that you're holding right now. Maybe you just care about yourself and what you're trying to gain out of situations at this moment. Ten of Cups. Happiness is found within the family and those whom you hold close. So I did this card previously in the past reading for Gemini as well. So I definitely feel like that's true on your end. Um, you can find happiness with those who you love, your family, you know, people that you know have your back, people that you came up with or around. Excuse me. And then I'm going to do temperance first since it's in the middle. It says, oh, shit. The elements work against the angels. Conflict comes from within. So maybe you guys both are angelic people and can bring harmony and love into this world, but you are dealing with issues inside of yourself, 333, that you need to handle before you, you know, try to love the world, 339. Because, like, you know, yeah, like, I'm a Scorpio. Gemini's are two-sided people. I'm a Scorpio, so I understand, like, my love can turn into rage and jealousy. And I feel like that goes for a lot of women and even men. Their love can turn to envy, to rage, or jealousy. So, yeah. No green eyes. No green eyes. So, this is for the masculine uh, Gemini. Ace of Cups. The cup overflows with joy, happiness, and friendships. Okay, so yeah. Okay, the birth of emotional happiness. So good things are to come in your life. You just got to have better energies and uh, look at things in better light. You know, it's, it's all about perspective. It's always about how you look at things and what you take from it and not just what you feel like it is. Four of Wands is next. Stability and harmony can be found amongst the endless planes of life. Okay, so yeah, good things are to come. Yeah, that's good. You just gotta keep, keep at it, shit. Keep living your life, focusing on yourself, staying around your family, focusing on you and your family, and great things to come. 
but focus on yourself with this temperance energy, like I said, because whatever issues you may have in your life concerning this hangman and ace of swords on the masculine side is probably because of inside issues. He is caught in a trap and is left to hang. His money slips from his pockets and his luck has ran out. He is a victim of someone else's plans. So yeah, maybe you did something, you went against the grain on something and you became a victim to somebody else's plans. 529. So yeah. You know, sometimes we fuck ourselves over. Like, we're too busy. Like I said, that love turns into rage. We're too busy trying to protect protect in our mind what we feel like we want to protect and it's like you going so hard sometimes was what somebody kind of 555 it's kind of what somebody planned for you they expected you to do what you did they expected you to move how you moved and they were going to come and pick up the pieces like shit happens like that shit happens like that um that's just something that came from my 609 from the sky so if you resonated with what I just said, like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And tell me if I'm on point a little bit. Uh, Ace of Swords in reverse. Stress and tension plague the life as a sword bears down. So I feel like this is what's currently going on and this is what is to come once you get out of this energy. Other, uh, around you, others may feel the need to mess with your mind for their own gain. And external forces seem to be holding your progress back. Yeah, like, and then sometimes we, like I said, childhood issues. So maybe you felt like, I mean, maybe you allowed that a lot in your past. You're trauma bonded to that type of energy to where you like to deal with people who usually play mind games instead of straightforward people, 659, because it makes you feel alive. It's fun, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so next week, 707, 709, 711. So next we have Three of Swords. Uh, this is for the feminine Gemini energy. He cries off to the skies in his anxiety. His mind is a playing field for chaos. He suffers extreme anguish from mental and emotional stress. So maybe you just have a lot of things going on mentally running through your mind right now. And since you, I mean, you run through my mind like all the time. 737, 738, 739. In situations, this card indicates that disaster and melodrama will find its way to your love life or workplace. Tragic losses will test and taunt you and cause stress and emotional upheaval. On the bright side of things, it suggests that you can only go from up, up from here. So what uh, Ariana Grande say, thank you, next. You feel me? 757, 58, 59. Like, everything is not for you. Like, everything is not yours. And when you find that out, you feel me? Fuck that shit. Write a song about it. 808, 809, you know? Fall in love, be stupid, and then move the fuck on and write write some songs or something about that shit. Don't sit in that energy because that's not going to get you anywhere, 819. Sit in that energy is not going to get you anywhere but stuck in that energy. And your energy absorbed and suck the fuck up. Yeah, stop. Like, I, I'll be telling that to Pisces, too. You should go look at the Pisces reading. Stop giving so much of your energy to situations who aren't giving you a specific type of energy that you feel like you want or need back you know um what i'll do say put off what if you put all your eggs in one basket and go find some more baskets eight for eight eight for eight nine and then go find another basket and put your eggs in that motherfucker so yeah stay putting them eggs in that motherfucking basket keep all them baskets full we the chicks we can lay eggs Go put them wherever you may and wherever you want to. 909. 9-11. Go chase your dreams, baby girl. I want to see you do 9-11. Fuck up Panamera. Drake voice. Drake voice. Nine of Cups. <clears throat> Caution is advised. Avoid becoming complacent. For success may go to your head and impair your judgment. So, you're yeah, 929. That's why I'm, I thank God for me going through the struggles I go through on a regular basis, like, I be so fucked up and shit, and it just be like, because I know when I get my shit together, like, I'm not, it didn't come easy to me. It ain't just shit said 947, 948, 949, shit ain't just get handed to me, like, oh, here's your dream, wrapped up in a gift box, here you go, hello, have Merry Christmas, bitch, 958, 959, so 1001, 
So when I get there, I'm not going to be comfortable. I'm going to want to keep going hard and keep going, keep doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, 10, 10. Like, because when you, when things just come to you in a way, then you feel like, oh, well, all I have to do is keep up with this certain image, 10, 19. All I have to do is keep up with this certain image and then I, I'll just be good. And no, it's more to it than that. So you become complacent and you will fuck around and lose the talent that you have. Shit. Like I said, success, success may go to your head. You feel like you made some money off something and it's like, okay, well, all right, well, I, I got my money and now I'm just going to sit in this energy and no, you got to keep fucking working. You got to keep pushing because that's what's going to fuck you up. Like if that was, you know, that's the motive. That's the motto, baby. That's the motto. So, yeah. Two of Cups. Woo! That's the motto. 11 11. Don't get stuck. Keep going. Keep moving. Together they entwine in an understanding of partnership and commitment. So. Maybe you could be committing to somebody. Maybe your like a partnership is coming to coming to fruition. Like maybe you and someone have an understanding, uh, and it could be business wise because it says you know this card indicates a fantastic partnership between two people. Positive and productive mergers and arrangements will blossom under this card as both parties are passionately driven in the same direction relationship with your loved ones and friends will experience deeper connections at this time okay yeah so maybe you're working with someone and you guys will 1159 starts you guys are understanding each other and you guys work to work well together like i said with uh the future and uh young metro 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 12 12 type shit i'm like uh they are able to you know they probably work on the same page, have the same mindset. Like I feel that way. Twelve twenty one. I want an engineer that can like properly work with me, and like, like so maybe it's something of that nature because that's the idea that I'm getting. Like I do music, so it's like I really need to find an engineer who just can feed off my energy, and we just are giving. Like I said, stop giving energy to shit that ain't giving you all of the energy that you're giving in, but. I want somebody that can feed off my energy to feed me back some better energy or feed me back some more ideas, some new shit. And I'm like, damn, okay, bet. You know, like, so yeah, that's the type of energy I feel like you may be coming to, into contact with shortly or you may, you know, yeah, after you. Because like I said about the other Gemini, after y'all kind of change y'all attitudes towards things, then maybe you'll be coming into contact with that type of energy. Because you still have this ten of wands here, so you're still trying to defeat something, and you're still kind of getting over a heartbreak or whatever, or whatever, whatever you call it, whatever you fucking call it. Okay, ten of wands. Whatever that fucking means. Whatever that fucking means. Okay. He bears the burden of ten wands ambitiously. He exerts immense control over them with power from within. So, yeah. Here you may feel like you are carrying the heavy weight on your shoulders, but you will be able to manage it. Multitasking and micromanaging. Yep. Multi Learn how to multitask. I'm still in the process of learning how to multitask better. Learn how to multitask more and what says macro manage. So, like, you know, manage the big things that you have going on in your life and, you know, put them compartmentalize these big old things in your life and set them in order put them in a specific place 1414 you know set boundaries 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 okay so you will have a lot of work situations going on where you will be stressed and stretched out trying to manage personal relationships and you know regular life and well personal regular life and you know public things so maybe you're in public eye so yeah just draw from 1444 just draw from the things that you have feel like you had to learn or even pay attention to the people that came that were before you or that went through certain things before you did and look at them and take that you know when they say a wise man 
learns from the mistakes of others and the fool learns from their own mistakes. Sometimes it's okay to be a fool, but then sometimes you got to be that wise man and look at other people and see where they may have fell off at or see what's wrong on their end, 15-15, and be like, okay, well, yeah, I'm not trying to be like them, so I need to do better. Yeah, I can't fall into this same trap or the same energy that they sitting in right now. Mm -mm. Ain't no laying in it, bitch, I'm playing with it. Okay, the sun is next. The sun is basically speaking on how you are, you know, a sun energy, how you are amazing, how you are great, how you are a light. And it speaks on, hold on, wait, because I don't think that side speaks on flying too close to the sun. Okay, yeah, the sun illuminates the paths of happiness and good tidings. So, yeah, just live in the light, 1555, and things will definitely go better for you. And you will start to, I feel like there's a lot of things hidden in your life maybe right now. So, it's like, if once you just allow yourself to focus on yourself, then you will start to see the things that are hidden in your life you will start to understand and realize those things and it's also i feel like maybe saying maybe you're just you're you are personally happy in the situation that you're in right now and it's like 16 29 and it's like sometimes you know you can't really say anything to people like when they are happy in that type of situation like uh not that type, but like if you like I said, a fool learns from the mistakes of himself, a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. So maybe you're happy playing the fool right now. And yeah, maybe that's the energy you kinda content with right now. So I feel like it's choices to everything. It's saying like once you have uh once you get into your own energy and like I said in the beginning, like look at situations for yourself, like look at situations, uh, 17, 17, but look at situations that you've seen other people already go through. And it's like, do I want to put, do I want to end up in this situation? Like, or do I want to just 17, 27, find new situations, focus on myself and, you know, see some different shit. Like we all, it's a woman thing. Cause I'm the same way. I don't give a fuck. You know, we like to go for what we feel like we know or what we feel like everybody wants, what looks good on paper. And it's like sometimes that's the worst thing to do. All right. Yeah. So that's a Gemini reading, 1757, 1758, 1759. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.